Hello, or should I say bonjour? My name is Heather Demetrius, Codename Scribe, and I am the author of Codename Badass, The True Story of Virginia Hall. I'm going to give you five reasons, even though I could probably give you a lot more, let's be honest, to read this book. Okay, number one, Virginia Hall. Virginia Hall was one of the greatest spies of all time. You've probably never heard of her because she was very good at her job about, you know, being quiet about herself. But Virginia Hall was, first of all, the only female civilian to get the Distinguished Service Cross in World War II. This is like really hard to get, okay? And P.S., she was an amputee, which leads me to duh, number two. Virginia Hall literally shot herself in the foot. That's how she became an amputee. Do I love her even a little bit more because of that? Yeah, I do. Because if I had shot myself in the foot, I don't think I would go on to drive an ambulance on the front lines during the Nazi storming of France. I don't think I would have helped liberate Paris through my intelligence gathering. I certainly don't think I would have been able to evade the Butcher of Lyon, one of the most notorious Gestapo killers of all time, or like climb a mountain to escape France. Yeah, no, I don't think so. So Virginia Hall's grit and audacity and courage and willing to go on even when she made a terrible mistake and was in enormous pain and had to work like five million times harder than anybody else. Yeah, that's going to be number two. Okay, number three, the way that I wrote this book. So I love history. I love spies. I love World War II. That sounds messed up, but I think you know what I mean. I'm into World War II. Okay. Um, but a lot of books about spies and World War II are pretty dry. You know, it's the kind of thing that you'd buy your dad for Christmas and it sounds good, but then you open it up and it's really kind of like boring. So I wrote this book basically as a really well-cited drunk history episode. So it's cursy. It's irreverent. Your mom might tell you to wash your mouth out after you read this book, okay? But I wrote it in the style that I talk about Virginia Hall and how we talk about things that we're excited about. I think biography can be, you know, dropping F-bombs and footnotes at the same time. So that's number three. Number four, this book is feminist. I don't know if I can curse here, so I'll say AF, okay? This book is hopefully going to inspire you in whatever thing that you want to be a badass in. Because if Virginia Hall could do it with a prosthetic limb and also like a notoriously horrible French accent, even though she was a spy in France and still managed to help win World War II for the Allies, you can probably do whatever you're trying to do too. So I'm basically introducing you to your new Shiro, who is also the best friend that I've never met. Okay, I think we're on number five sexiness. You guys, this is spies. This is the French resistance. This is clandestine operatives doing espionage sorts of things. Okay. It's really fun. And you know, if you want to be a spy, there's some good tradecraft trips in here. Okay. So you'll like learn a little bit about how to be sneaky and, you know, kill bad people if that's your job or something. So I want you to know these five reasons, but I'm going to add a little bonus one. If you go to heatherdemetrius.com slash badass, I have a huge portal there where you can see tons of pictures of Dindy, which is what we call Virginia Hall. That was her childhood nickname. And you can see maps and you can read more about her, read an excerpt of the book. There's a badass playlist that you should dance to whenever you feel like you need a femme boost, okay? So please, please take a look at Codename Badass. I hope you love Virginia Hall as much as I do and that she inspires you to be a badass in whatever you're doing in your life. P.S. You're already a badass. So this is just going to like amplify that. Okay. Happy reading.